I think actually we should probably touch on Eurovision just for a moment because of course that was the big moment last year. Everything blew up off the back of that. We're about to reach Eurovision 2022 again. Do you guys go back and are you going to perform at Eurovision yeah. 2022 yeah, as yeah, the yeah, past yeah. winners? Absolutely. How are you we feeling are. about that? We are very excited. So it's going to be good. Yeah. 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 Do you know what great. you're going to perform yet? No. 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 <laughs> totally unprepared at the moment. I think, I think they will ask us to, to perform the tier one. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. There's a couple of other like rockier acts as well that okay. are going to be performing. Nice. That must be, yeah, I was going to say, that must be a nice compliment for mm -hmm. you guys, yeah. you know, just yeah. kind Absolutely. of changing the game a little yeah. bit and, and influencing essentially, right? Yeah, we'll just try yes. your revision. Yeah. <laughs> we ruined and everyone it. took it we seriously. Yeah. Everyone will hate us. They would be like, oh, this was, just was, was so job. nice. No. <laughs> Performing live, then. Something you've got to do a lot since yeah. Eurovision mm -hmm. as well. I know you obviously did it before, but you know, these big, big opportunities, big TV shows, big yeah. festivals. When you play live, it just brings a different dynamic and a whole different experience. So when you're actually making that music in the studio, are you subconsciously thinking about that live experience yeah. and how always. it's going to yeah. translate? Yeah, always. Yeah. Always. Always. always, always. Yeah. Sometimes even too much. Because <laughs> yeah. like many times we're, we're also like thinking, okay, this part could sound cool in the studio, but it won't work when we play it live. So sometimes we say, okay, it's better not to do it. So how do you go about like working that out and testing that? Is it just literally test running new songs on the road? Yeah, because when we when we write the music, then we always play it, of course, just like with the three instruments and, and the voice. In the studio, in each other's faces. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like it was live, and then we just can feel and sense if it works or not. I uh -huh. think like really when you we, when you play just three instruments, you really have to like fill up the whole space of the sound and everything. So you can really feel when like a song is more weak or one is more like full. And, and how did the opportunity for the Rolling Stones come about? I don't know. <laughs> we don't, just, we like, don't know why anything happened. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was <laughs> yeah. Every time they like our managers just oh. tell us like, do you want to open for the Rolling Stones? We're like, ah, <laughs> yes. And did you meet them as well? Yeah. 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 Did, well, did they have any advice for you or anything yeah, like it that? Yeah, it was amazing because Keith Richards, he, he didn't know who yeah, he, he met us and he was like, nice to meet you. I don't know who you are, but they told me you're doing great, so congratulations. <laughs> and then he left, and I was like, iconic, iconic. Yeah, exactly. iconic. I can see real guitars, so I'm happy. Yeah. 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 yeah, He's Keith Richards, so he doesn't really need to know who anyone is. Exactly. You know what I mean? He can just go around doing Yeah, we were just, like, so no happy offense. about that, yeah. so. Yeah, and that he actually acknowledged you. Yeah. 